just want to give a big thank you to these guys, which most of the world would know as Anytone for what they've created here with their new radio that will be coming out, I would assume, probably sometime this summer. Now what you're seeing here is a sample <clears throat> that was sent to me, so that's why I'm giving them many thanks for sending me that sample. I really appreciate them for that. This is not a production ready radio, so let's not confuse ourselves with one that will be, because this essentially is not, but it's very close. So, and they gave me the opportunity just to make a quick video and just talk about it. So obviously, um, I'm not going to show everything because I, I don't want to show something that's not a finished production product that would just be counterproductive to what we're doing here. But I will say um, that it does about 80 to 100 watts on sideband. And on AM, I'm seeing about 80 to 90. So pretty stout. And uh, I think most would be happy with that because for whatever reason, it seems like power is the number one factor. You could, you could give as many features as you want, but it seems like it always comes back to power. <clears throat> so I feel like they did, I guess, do a solid for those that like power because the radio is pushing more power. Um, but the features alone set this thing miles apart from the original. The features are so much better on this radio. So if you like the original, um, I think you'll really love this radio and everything that they've changed and made better. So I think it's a big step up. And if you have one of these like in a vehicle, it's a perfect size radio for a vehicle like the original. <clears throat> the um, This one will be a drop-in replacement. Same size, everything's identical. So you can take your old one out. You could pop this one in and away you go, basically. And uh, all the new features and whatnot make it even in like a good stationary radio for like in the house or something or in the garage or whatever wherever you use your radios the most at, at your home location or if you take it camping or something or on the go it's it's going to be a multi-purpose radio for everybody <clears throat> if you live in the frequency mode like i do it's got a good vfo you can uh, obviously switch in between like i'm doing this is a channel mode and how I'm doing that is there's a PF key and I have that program to basically act as my band VFO switch. So if you live in the channelized mode like this, you'll see how we stick to 40 channel bands. And uh, if we were to move away from that said here, 505 is 16 and just go up here like that. You know, we can use that frequency, and it'll, it'll be this frequency that we're on. But if we decide to go back, just do that, and you're back. So the radio remembers where it started. And a lot of the other radios don't do that. Guys get lost, and they'll say, well, my radio says I'm on channel 20, but I'm on such frequency that doesn't line up with channel 20 on the channelized band. And, uh, you know, this, this one will never do that. So that's a cool feature. You don't have to have that PF button set. <clears throat> you can obviously do that. And you're right back to the frequency mode. The PF button has a, a menu built in, which is 35. So if we tap that, it was in the VFO. I like this one. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't have a cough filter, sorry. I do these videos live. So, or not really live, but live filming. No editing, I don't edit, don't have time for that. So the PF button now is basically acting like what it would act like if you press that button on the front. But now you can do it at your fingertip, like that. So I think that's a good feature for those that want to work the frequency domain and go wherever they want to go at the touch of a fingertip. So that's just some of the new features that the radio has. Obviously we see the NRC, that's a big improvement over the last one. Um, you're able to change the color of the screen, you know, whatever you want to do. I 
thought the last one you could do that too. Maybe maybe I'm wrong, but I thought sh that you could. I, I don't remember. Maybe you could. I think it has a dimmer option on it too. Uh, we'll have to go through the menu and look for that. Color. I don't remember. Yeah, dim. So it does have a dimmer. Let's see if you're if you don't need it, you can shut it off. And in my environment, I mean, I can see that pretty good. So if I was sitting here, I really wouldn't need it. But most people probably would want it on. So I'll leave it at level one. <coughs> I'm going to shut the light off in the room here. I'm curious to know if these are backlit. I'm not sure if they are. I have never checked. All right, so they don't appear to be backlit. But let's see if I turn that dim setting up. If they are, yeah, actually they are. Okay, so you have to have it up higher, obviously, to be backlit. So they are backlit. The function button is not. So that will be the one, I guess, that you'll have to remember if you're using this out in the dark. It's nighttime, you're in a vehicle, you're outside. You know, you'll have to remember that the one that's not lit is the function. It's pretty easy to remember. Obviously, there's no backlighting on the knobs or any of that stuff, so <clears throat> you have to familiarize yourself with the knobs, but they're the same as what they were before. So if you've used this radio before, like I said, there's not a whole lot that changed on the controls. It's just more, you know, the, the menu and more function. So <clears throat> I hope that you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Sorry, I'm not going to cover a whole lot more about it at this time. But it is, uh, in this situation, it is a fully functioning radio that I've been using here. And it's been a lot of fun. So we'll catch everybody later. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for uh, this radio to come out uh, production in the next few months, I would assume. 7-3.